Hey everybody, welcome back to Undertale. We're in Snowed In Town, let's get going. Here we are. Alright, so, we just, uh, well, beat Papyrus in a fight. We didn't really. We became friends with him, and then he said that we could maybe go on a date. Uh, this is about how far I played through uh, my first time, and I had, you know, we, so I went through everything that we've just gone through, I was having a lot of fun, and I'm like, you know what, I should just record this all, so I could show other people how cool this is, and, uh, you know, watch it again later. So, let's take this igloo here. Before we leave town, we're gonna go, uh, Talk to Papyrus and maybe go on a date with him. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. My house! Alright, now we can go inside. Uh, let's see here. There's a kitchen. Looks like an oven. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non egg substance. How absurd! There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Thanks, Sans. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Forget it. That's a very high sink. Uh, aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> what is this? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! These two are silly. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. 20 G. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. I guess so. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. Alright, so this must be Papyrus's room. We got a picture of a bone. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bone. And Sans' room, there's something going on in there, I don't know what it is. The door is locked, he's not gonna let us in. So let's go into Papyrus' room. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and... do whatever people do when they date? It's a little unsettling, but alright. This is a pretty cool room. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. 
I wonder who that could be. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me, sometimes. Look in the closet? Sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. I checked without even opening the door. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> the ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Santa visits down here as well. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. You don't even have skin. So, uh, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Uh, I guess so. Okay, dating start! Oh my. This sounds like a dating sim. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an efficient, uh, an efficient, official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one: press the C key for dating hood. Wow, there it is. Wow, we. I feel so informed. We've got a reel it in meter. Uh the weather, or maybe it's Sunday, I'm not sure. A sonar that seems to be detecting a dog nearby. A population meter that is changing way too fast for what a popul population meter would do. There's an egg, and a crime hotspot meter. I think we're ready for step two. None of this has anything to do with dating. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowee! Look at his face. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. I am wearing a ribbon. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be you wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes, I have. No! <laughs> you planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power! Oh, there it goes. I've got so much. Yeah! Don't think you've bested me yet. Oh, the tension is going all over the place. Hi, the Great Papyrus. I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? He's wearing a hat and a shirt that says cool dude. And his shoulders look kind of like basketballs. I don't know if that's part of the outfit. I love it. No! A genuine compliment. Oh, I'm beating him badly at this. You're a cool dude. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Let's inspect him. Is it being a cool dude? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. 
so it was just a shirt that said, dude. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. As what? My hat? Well, I pointed to your teeth, but okay. My hat. My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. I'll open it. Do you know what this is? Uh, it looks like either a brain or spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? I was. Right! But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask for some reason. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'm gonna eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! My dating power is off the charts. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. But it's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, uh... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry, I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. This game has gotten really weird. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship, so please, don't cry because I won't kiss you, because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> oh, that was a tiring date. Very tiring. Can I come in yet, sons? No. Okay. Well, date over. I guess we're gonna move on now. Alright, now we're heading into new territory. What will we find? A waterfall, some ice, some water sounds in the background, and these people. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> I don't know who your parents are. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. What did it hear? This is an echo flower. Oh, right, he just said that. Let's save. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. We're at Waterfall Checkpoint. Sons. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. You want to come? Uh, yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. By going the wrong way? 
Hey, we're Grillies. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. But um, here, get comfy. Guess we're gonna hang out. Oh, somebody tooted. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. I wonder who that was. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or a burger? Uh, generally, I'd like a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. <laughs> so, what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if he wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Alright, my bird. Here comes the grub. You know what? Grub backwards is berg. Think about it. Want some ketchup? Uh, no, I don't put ketchup on my burgers. More for me. And he's drinking it. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. This is intense. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. But do you mean... Flowey? Or... That echo flower that I just heard about. Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Okay. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Hmm. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Maybe. Or is he talking about Flowery, who's obviously still alive because he confronted me when I was leaving the ruins? And that guy is scary. Welp, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Yeah, right. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. No, I don't have that much. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> weird, and he didn't even take me back with his shortcut. How rude. Well, let's head back towards Waterfall, I guess. I don't know what that frost screen is for. Save after the uh, hanging out with Sans. Let's hang out again sometime. Alright, now we're on our own. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. It's pretty much the same as before. I don't think I need a stick. I'm bringing that snowman piece to far off places because he wanted me to, and all this stuff is food to heal me, so that's good. Um, looks like I can go across this waterfall, and there's also a path down here, which just leads to the bottom of the waterfall. Echo flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Well, let's check it out. Uh, nothing. 
something there. Maybe it's up here. Oh yeah, you can see there's two lines up there like there's a gap. There we go. More glowy mushrooms, and what is this? There's a tutu lying on the ground. Will you take it? You got the old tutu, sure. What does that do? Old tutu has more armor. Finally, a protective piece of armor. I like armor. Let's put that on. That'll look ridiculous now, probably. Ooh, it just got very shadowy. Why is it so dark? Who is that? There's Papyrus. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. That must be her. Sounds scary. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier... Huh? Did I fight them? Uh, yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well... No. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, jeez, he's scary. Alright, we're gonna keep going. Oh, jeez. Um... Oh, boy. Nope, nobody here. Just grass. It's kind of frightening. Ugh. Don't fade into the dark like that, man. That's too much. What? What are you doing here? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Ha! Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. very excited. I think she wants to murder me, though. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. We're in the hallway. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Alright, these must be bridge seeds. A very specific kind of seed. And when they line up... They sprout, and now we can go across them. Who is it? Aaron flexes in! Aaron, this seahorse has a lot of HP, horsepower. It's like a top horse, bottom half eel. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. I see. Check all you want, wink wink. Well, then I'll stay near the top of the box. On me. Smells like a muscle farm. <laughs> I will flex too. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. We both get attack increases. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Oh, I'm gonna flex Aaron. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Nice! I won't lose, though. Aaron is ready for your next flex. He flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. I win! Alright, didn't expect that. Let's see. There's a sign that I can't reach. Four bridge seeds. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Okay. And looks like we want to get across here. Well, I want to see what that sign says, so let's see here. If we put them down here. It said that there needs to be four in a row. Otherwise, they don't open.
Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. <laughs> you got me good, sign. Very fun. Alright. Call them back, and then how are we going to get across here? You can see, it looks like these are each three spaces across. Three, 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 two, three, three, two, four. But then I couldn't reach the other side. So I can't go straight across. Can I go up and down? I can go like up here, but that won't reach across. If I go up here, I think that'll work. Let's try that. Because I think, yeah, it'll connect those two uh, short bridges. And the waterfall. I can see if there's something in there. Yeah. Oh, nothing in there. Alright, moving on. Somebody's calling me on my cell phone telephone. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. So, what are you wearing, Papyrus? That's a little forward. I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, right. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? I am. I don't really want I'm dying to know what I'm wearing, but Papyrus is my friend. I'll tell him the truth. Yes, I am wearing a tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Okay. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. Oh. Washua shuffles up. It's like a turtle with a washing machine for a for his back. That's odd. Washua, this humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Out, darn spot. Oh, it's some kind of giant soap. Woo. Washua is rinsing off a pizza. <laughs> uh, clean. I'll clean it. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Green. Oh. Washua is friends with a little bird. Oh, I got a green one. So, we're good. Green means clean. Uh, I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. I can't get out of this cave. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. The telescope. Look through the telescope. Yes. Stars. Check the wall. It seems to be written on the telescope. Okay. It must mean this wall. Indeed, there's a hole. Now we're near some uh, water sausages and some wooden planks. This doesn't seem to do anything. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There is something very unsettling about this drawing. That's interesting. So... Most of the time in games, when it's like, oh, humans and monsters fought, you know, it's because the monsters attack and the humans are trying to survive or whatever, but here, humans just attack the monsters for some reason, even though the monsters are very weak. So, and then humans push them down into this mountain to live. It's not very nice. And apparently, if a monster takes a human soul, they'll be super powerful, so... I don't know. Something to think about. Let's see what's on the other side of this. 
more planks, and I can't get back. And it's dark again. And you remember what happened last time it was dark. Scary stuff. Oh, God. Oh, she's back. Oh, jeez. Just avoid these endless light spheres. Oh, it hit me. Oh, jeez. Ah! Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Why do you hate me so much? Just because I'm human. Uh, Alright, so if they hit me, you go into a quick battle. And if you don't get a hit there, then it's fine. But that's a lot of spears. No, no, no. We're still running. Into the grass. I stopped. She's coming. that kid. Nobody else is here. Oh, he saved my butt. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Yeah, she would have straight up murdered me. That was close. Uh, this cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak! Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. And we're at Waterfall Crystal. And it's been about a half hour play here, so let's take a break for now. Thanks for watching, and join me next time for more Undertale.